84 families in Changamwe, Mombasa County will spend the night in the cold after their houses were demolished by the government to pave way for the construction of an affordable housing project. The National Housing Corporation says tenants were issued with two eviction notices since the year 2018, but some of them ignored the notice and had rent arrears of up to 500,000 shillings. Francis Mtalaki has more from Mombasa. Friday, 5 a.m., One of the caterpillars made their way to the National Housing Corporation houses in Changamwe, Mombasa County. This is one of the 84 houses on a 58-acre piece of land that were demolished. With the demolitions, the long-running row between the National Housing Corporation and the sea and tenants came to a close. Tenants watched helplessly with some of them caught unawares and forced to salvage their belongings before their houses were brought down. Lakini leo hatuko tarajia kwamba itafikia kiwango kama hiki na hata kama kulikuwa na haja ya kubomoa ingekuwa ni vyema wananchi wapewe nafasi ya kutoa vyombo vyao. Naona hata hapa nyuma yangu kila mahali hapo kenda estate vitu watu wakina mama watoto nini hata wengine wana watoto ambao wanatoka shuleni sasa hajui atakula vipi sisi tuko kotini na tumeenda court of appeal kwa sababu ya hii maneno na wamedharau tunaona kama national housing wamedharau serikali imedharau ni kama wameamua wata ngojea sheria ichukue mkondo wake According to NHC, the tenants were issued with a notice to vacate the premises in 2018 and 2023, but 19 among the 84 declined to leave. NHC maintains that the first phase under the five-acre has been set aside for construction of the affordable housing with a thousand units earmarked for the affordable project. When we gave a notice in 2018, we also gave the 84 right of refusal of the new units that we are to develop. So uh, contrary to whatever maybe somebody might be saying out there, uh, we, had, uh, we have engaged them and uh, the, the operation going on right now. It is uh, out of any showdown. Uh, also to note that uh, the position we are not doing at night or over weekend or any other time. We are doing it during the broad daylight because what we are doing is the right thing. We are bringing the contractor who, are, who was duly identified in the September last year to take on the site and start the development. The exercise happened with police officers present. The state agency says the exercise was conducted according to the law after engaging the local leadership. Francis Mtlaki, Citizen TV, Mombasa.